right, guys, in Philadelphia, Democrats far outnumber Republicans. So it's about seven to one. So the primary is really significant. The winner has a big advantage in the general election. But tens of thousands of voters cannot vote in that primary. And there is a push to change that. Meanwhile, those who do vote in this year's primary, they've got the power to push the mayoral race in a number of different directions. In West Philadelphia, Yolanda Braxton, hold that for me, ready to do her part. If we get 10, 15, 100, 200 people who come by here and say, ah, oh, let me register to vote, then it was all worth coming out here. Just hours to go before the deadline to register to vote in a city where candidates for mayor are running neck and neck. A committee of 70 polls showing a statistical tie between multiple candidates heading into the final two weeks of the election. People thinking, oh, it doesn't matter, but it does. You know, you have people who lose by 100 votes, 200 votes. Now we're calling on everyone to get out there and exercise their right to vote. Omar Sabir is vice chair of the Philadelphia City Commissioners, overseeing elections in the city. We have uh, decided who the president is going to be, who the governor is going to be, United States Senate, and now this upcoming marriage race. I believe is more important than all those other races that I just mentioned. Under the current rules, roughly 100,000 voters in Philadelphia will not be able to vote in the mayoral primary because they're not registered with a party. A state senator is looking to change that. As more and more people are registering unaffiliated and independent thinking, they are being shut out of our primary process and disenfranchised from it, from voting. Pennsylvania Senator Lisa Boscola represents part of the Lehigh Valley. There have been proposals before uh, in Harrisburg and they haven't gotten all the way through. Is there anything that makes you feel like this might be the time? I, there's more and more momentum. Yes, 20 years ago I introduced this bill and hardly had any support. Now we have bipartisan support. Across Pennsylvania, the latest numbers show more than 900,000 voters registered without a party. The candidates would have to, instead of cater to the extremes of each side, would probably have to now go out and talk to a greater number of people. Are you registered? For next month's primary, Wait. though, well, here's the form right here. You have until midnight to switch your registration if you want to vote in the primary race. It could be the tipping point. Now, that bill to open Pennsylvania's primaries is bipartisan. Senator Boscola introduced it with Senator Dan Laughlin from Erie County. And I've reached out to the state Democratic and Republican parties and also to a couple of senators who voted against a similar proposal in the past. But I didn't hear back from any of them today. I'm Lauren Make, hmm. NBC 10 News. All right,